Here's my hot take. Can I give you my hot take? Number two on this list. 2013 Snowpiercer. Oh, Snowpiercer. Worth a watch. Um, uh, premise is dumb. <laughs> I mean, it does not make any damn sense. We've talked about it. Like, it's so before. cold. Let's get on a train. Yeah. Like, wait a second. What are you that talking about? That doesn't do anything to metal. <laughs> cold doesn't do anything yeah, exactly. to metal. Like, uh, <laughs> like, metal's not going to ice up. Like, let's get on a train. We need to move. I mean, we need to just be moving. I mean, I appreciate conceptually that it's linear. So it, it, it stratifies... Yeah. You know your level of society in, in, a, in a very obvious way. I get that, but you could almost have done that with a um, a building, a, a skyscraper, yeah. right? Yeah, um, and you got to climb to the top floor. Yeah. Although you know, well, you want to be closer to the ground. Yeah, you have a better view, yeah. but make the poor people up on it. Well, but then they're going to pee and poop, and that's, that's yeah, everything goes down. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, rich people on top floor. <laughs> but stink rises. <laughs> That's true. That this is a complex question. <laughs> I had not realized. This is why you have to have motion. You know what? Thing. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah, no, we got to do a train. It's it looks, like, train. I think it looks a, like pig pen. I feel like we've gotten the, the writing thing. process of whoever wrote this. They were like, let's do a building. Wait a second. There's Maybe it's a ship. Pl- it's got to be in motion. <laughs> it's got. It's too many problems here. How about a train? Yeah, that makes perfect <laughs> sense. Let's sure, we're on a deadline. Yeah, Get yeah. on with it. <laughs> Bong Joon Ho's English language debut dazzled critics and audiences alike yeah, yeah. with its bold visual style and bracingly direct action sequences. In a post apocalyptic world plagued by global warming, <laughs> the remaining population travels the globe on an industri- industrial Non train. global warming, it's global cold. and cold, yeah. yeah. Uh, that is segmented by social class. The poor live in squalor in the back of the train while the elite enjoy their riches at the front. The film deals with a rebellion led by Curtis Everett, Chris Evans, yeah. who fights his way through each gorgeously rendered compartment alongside some of the train's most colorful characters. The social metaphor of the film may be blunt, but the action scenes are always engaging, particularly one rendered in night vision. Add in bonkers Tilda Swinton, and you've got post apocalyptics overload for the ages. Yeah. I buy that. Like, hey, listen, I don't know about rewatchability with that movie. Um,. But I don't remember, like, walking out of it being like, ah, boring. <laughs> no. Seen it. Yeah, yeah, no. It was, it was <laughs> cool. It was just, it's, it's, that next level. It just force people to stick their hands out the train, you know. That well, that, that, it was the next level of thought process where you're like, this doesn't make any damn sense at all. Like, yeah. it, it, it does not pass the smell test as far as that goes. Yeah. But if you, if you suspend your disbelief beyond the fact that the premise is ridiculous and you really think about that, that social stratification yeah. issue, I, it's a metaphor, man. I, yeah, actually, I get it. And so, yeah, it was cool. It was cool. Once again, I don't want to watch it just because um, I feel like I'm being slapped in the face with a mackerel over the the illogic of a train <laughs> traveling the globe during a, a global ice with age. no upkeep, no fuel yeah, yeah. source. <laughs> Who's, where, where are the guys who are keeping the track? Unlimited Food, you know, and, somehow. And where's the fuel coming from yeah. exactly? I don't. I, there's it's no, solar. <laughs> it runs on ice, man. It's extra dimensional. <laughs> it's Hulk energy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're deriving it from the multiverse. 